I was a successful investment banker. And I mean, it was an all right job, helped people invest in things, six figure salary, but it's just not me, man. It just wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to be a dancer. Uh, I saw Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure and it just inspired me to become an amazing interpretive dancer, man. This, this was what I wanted to do. This is my calling. This is what I want to do. I want to dance, man. I want to feel the rhythm. That's what I did. So I quit my job and ever since then I've been working with this uh, great master. His name's Jeff. The wife wasn't big on it. She kind of was, didn't just, didn't get my dream. She didn't get me, man. She didn't get what I wanted to do. And so we both mutually agreed to go our separate ways. And honestly, it was probably more my decision. You don't support my interpretive skill. So actually, the room we're interviewing right now, this is my room. You know, my pillow and blankets right over there, and this is all mine, man. Like, this is all I could ever need. I actually have this one awesome roommate. His name's Little Penicillin. Best freaking rapper ever, man. He is gonna take over. Like, literally take over. And I came to him and I was like, dude, we gotta make a rap video, and you gotta let me interpretive dance for it. And he was like, oh yeah, man, we, we totally got to do that. We totally got to make this video. So we make this dope freaking video and I'm, I'm out there doing interpretive dancing. So like the dope video that we did, it was out for like an entire year, right? And it had 638 views. And the one comment that, that speaks to me, it speaks to me, man. It's like, who is the guy doing the dancing in the background? 